Hi kids, it's Miss Cooper. I hope you're doing well. Today we're having a lesson on the writing process. So we're going to learn about brainstorming, rough draft, edit, and final draft where you publish. So I want you to get out a piece of paper and I want you to write, um, I want you to create an idea web. And the middle is our main idea or central idea. And our topic today is write about why plants are important and explain what makes them special. I want you to think of them as many ideas as you can and those are your details. So in the main idea here, we're going to write why plants are important. Then after you see a video at the end of this presentation, then you can add your details. So right now, go ahead and pause this so you can have your idea web ready to go. So after you completed your brainstorm, after you've watched the video and filled out your idea web, now it's time to start putting your ideas together. So I want you to look at your brainstorm and think what you wanna start writing first. I want you to pick out the most important details that you wanna write about, about why plants are important. And may, remember to choose at least three ideas and write about them in detail. So you choose one idea and then write one or two sentences after that explaining what your idea was talking about. So now that you've looked at your brainstorm and decided which ones you're going to write about, now it's time to make your rough draft. So now it's time to put your ideas down on paper. Remember, you need to start off with a title, then a topic sentence. A topic sentence is your central idea. It's what you're mainly talking about. So for example, you could start off, plants are very important to us in this world. Here are some reasons why they are important. And you can even list some of your reasons, like my first reason is, or my second reason is, and remember to have at least three reasons and examples. And don't forget your ending sentence to wrap up your whole story. So now that you're finished with your rough draft, it's time to share with your family. And you shouldn't be too concerned about how to spell during your rough draft. You need to just sound out the words. But now it's time to share with your family. And you're going to read them your story. And then you're going to listen to them because they're going to maybe try to give you some ideas that you maybe might want to add. And make sure when you're reading that your sentences are making sense. So now it's time after you share your reading to ask them if they have any corrections. And you need um, you can give them a pen, they can help you correct it. Make sure you have capitals, the correct punctuation and that your story makes sense. So now that you have your corrections down on your, on your story, it's time to go ahead and start your final draft. And now we're going to publish and you're gonna be an author. This draft will be your final or published draft. Remember to have a title and you're gonna write as neatly as you can. You will copy your rough draft with all the corrections down and then fix the mistakes like we do in class. And just make sure you have a title, beginning and ending, you have capital letters and the correct punctuation. After you finish and you have taken your time to write an awesome story, I want it's now it's time we can add an illustration with our story. So you can take your time and do a nice drawing that goes with one or many reasons why plants are important to us. Now it is time to share your story. So you can grab a family member and ask them to listen to your story and or you can even call a friend on the phone and tell them your story over the phone and see what they think. Now that we've finished our writing process, which is brainstorm, rough draft, edit, and publishing, now this is your activity, like I've said before. Plants are an important part of this world. Think about how plants are important to our world. You may know that plants are used for food, to help us breathe, and also to make things. So we're writing again about why plants are important, and we're going to explain what makes them special. Remember all the things that I've said, make sure you have a nice topic sentence, make sure you have corrected your spelling and punctuation and everything sounds right. So I'm going to go ahead and include this video, which I will email to your parents too. And um, this is a YouTube video and you